Today I'm going to show you the overview of the eTeam system, what is function inside, how it can help your works, what is the basic features, how, how could I customize or personalize the system as I want. So let's start. The first of all, the most important things is the information portal. Information portal means here gathering all the information, a lot of the useful information, all the relate information to me to display on the same pages. Like for example, here the company page. This is a system predefined pages. Give you an overview of the whole organization. Like here is 14 total users uh, in the, this week, 24 login. How many login yesterday and the ranking of the login of the top five. So this gives some overview of the users use assistance. Of course, there are some other statics. And also you can check in from here and some tasks due today or tasks due tomorrow and the pending list or event can be displayed here. Besides this one, right, you can customize the personal portal for yourself. Now for here, now I always use this page to complete my work. Now for the first one is check-in, it's attendance check, either check-in on PC or on mobiles. And here, give you some like the shortcut, you can create daily report directly from here, create new event, upload the file, and the contact record, new customer, new contract, can be done from here. And here is some basic uh, statics report for your overview that monthly contract for last few months and the year contract completion rate. And here is some uh, announcement. You can always make a new announcement and I click at the new announcement. Maybe the announcement is a public holiday. Yeah, so here, well, what is a uh, net year or there is a new public holiday. Yeah, from Pumpkin HR. And also, you can just change the font style, make it border, and make this one color. Yeah, I choose this one. And also, notify to all, right? Release and just release. And then you can see view log who view this announcement, who did not view this announcement, and operations can be seen from here. This is very easy to track who view this announcement or not. And of course, right, so here is uh, your task. Your task is finished or not finished. You can click on this one to check details, or you can just uh, change the uh, complete progress, and then you can just comment, yeah, uh, finish. POC, yeah, it's then give some comments here, and then others can reply from here. In most of the functions, right, E-Teams provide this kind of discussion board to help you to discuss inside the task, project, approve, customer, contact, anything you can discuss. So this is a UI, this is my task. This is my task right here, I can put my event. You can always go to create a new event here. Maybe just create a new event. Maybe I just have a demo for customer. And it's today, right, it's like today. And uh, it's not repeat, it's not, it's not from, I think it's not just uh, maybe from 11, 11 to 12. Yeah, I can also just type 12. Then, yeah, save. Yeah, and if I refresh this one, I will have a demo meeting for today. Yeah, you see here, demo for customer. Click this one for details. And also, this can be converted as a task. So this is the information portal, right? Give you a lot of information. Besides this one, right? You can also give a decision making. The decision making is you always have a lot of the, like the dashboard and from here, right? You can have the dashboard for the contract amount in Singapore and Australia and the customer branch, where are they from? And the leave of vacation, contract and the caching statics. So this is some like the dashboard. Of course, you can always go to set the set is like you can customize like for the company because this is a system page you cannot customize and this is user for all you can give it a range and for personal right the personal is customized you can always click the set to customize the information portals as you want and uh, yeah so maybe here you can go to click edit and edit and then you can give a name and the data how it's going to display so you can always customize the portal as you want. And then that's for portal. 
So besides the portal, right? So next one, we're going to another is like date uh, project. So the project part, right, is like help you to manage all your project. Take take example, right? So for the EOE employee on board, we can create a task. Now for here, uh, we, we need the, the employee to prepare the national ID, the employee certification for last uh, employment, apply for uh, bank account, last three months pay slip. This is not preparation. We can put multiple stages here now, until they onboard. So this is some like, task management. And besides task, you can, you can link the task to like, event and task and even the report customer need you can link the task task to third uh, not third application the application inside the e-team so besides this one right the pro, this is project now for for project maybe we just go back if you want to create a new project right so for here is maybe this project is like i want to prepare for pre sales so uh, this is nine. So for here, right? So if there's a nine, prepare for Singapore demo custom DDD LTD. And then start day, maybe from today, I, will, I need to, we need to finish in one week and share with who you are going to work with them, like for Ken, and you can share with your sales director and who is a participant uh, and item category this sales and marketing and then you save this one so you have the task here right so you you will be have the preparation complete and you can add a new group the group is like the documents so because you have always have new a lot of documents that case study you can if you can assign this one that person in charge you can going to assign to him and the due date maybe the put put is like by tomorrow for tomorrow yeah 10 maybe 10 yes okay so confirm so you create the first task for this project so and you need to link which customer you want to prepare for this one right you, you just link a customer you link the customer is not single for demo customer right and then this will be linked with the top customers main line document and this, and schedule task. So here is a stack and this is activities. Who any of the operational org, right now from I create this project right all the operations will be recorded from here and because I just link with the customer right all the customer information will be uh, show from show for here. So you just work on the one place and uh, to know all the informations. And this is project. So there are a lot of statics report. Of course, you're going to check the statics report by month, by person, by all the things, right? So besides this one, right, we have a task. Because project have a lot of tasks, so we're going to check all the tasks here. And for here, we have a lot of tasks here. So you can just click for this one. I just uh, uh, click. This one because just now the task I created is for Wilson Wu, so I cannot see on my task. So for this one, I can go into change the progress and uh, reply with this one. Yeah, good job. Reply, yes. So you can just reply, can we finish this one? Yeah, so this is the task management. And if the task is finished right now for this one, maybe it's finished, you can mask as complete. So this is will be automatically go to 100% complete. And this will be just a finish. So this is task management. The project have task. So besides this one task, right, we have calendars. So these calendars, yeah, you can just uh, check your sub series. You can create new task. You can create, uh, share your calendar with others. Now, for example, right, look, so I just create a new event. For this one, we have pre-sales meeting. Because we finish on that, that we have the meeting with customer. Maybe it's like 10 o'clock. Yeah, so this one is 13. We finish at 11, 
one hour so pretty, pretty good so location we can just put in location customer office and participant in our campaign we maybe put Hansu and participant reset agenda signing whether to scan QR code chatting yes we can go to advanced set we're going to, go to add a QR code for them to sign in right so here I create good it's not here you, you can see here right we have all the things here of course that view check-in status you can have a QR code here so the user can go to scan the QR code to check in so this is our calendars and also for here right if you, you can see others if you want to see others uh, calendar here you can go to check others calendar so and the, this is by month, by week, by day. It depends on your preference. So this is calendars and documents. So for the company, right, they always have a lot of documents to share. In. And for example, I have public folders. I can go to upload a file from here, upload a file. Maybe I just uh, snapped a document from my, from my desktop. Maybe I just uh, choose anyone. Uh, maybe for this one so who I want to share with I just share with myself who can participate myself so what this means like for the document right even you are public folders not means everybody can see it you can go to share with a specific persons and then confirm other, others cannot go to view this document like for here is our documents we just uh, upload you can just preview online directly no need to download preview inside the browser directly yeah maybe take 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 some of this so this one is our like photos we just upload and of course here right you can link this one to a lot of other informations so the system have ability to link with the system with one document to another document link the documents to with customer with contract with a lot of others so this is some of the basic functions link items the link is data are not independent, are not isolated, and are not added. They are linked with each other. And you do not go to search because if you link, you can directly go to check all the things. You can also go to create new documents from here. Like for example, I create a new one. Like for instance, like e teams. Maybe I call it e teams user name. If you want to add it, it's very easy. You just uh, add it, this one. Maybe, maybe I just put chapter four. It's past, and then save. So here you can you save and exit, and then you have the versions here. I have one, two. I can go to have different versions from here, and also you can share the documents with others. For example, then I can just go to uh, add participant, and uh, you can also link these documents to other items, project, task, big documents, customer, lead, any sense you want to you want to share. So you can just create a task, uh, create documents from here. So besides create documents, right, we can also go to the preview the documents. So like for this one, this is a his favorite thing to put, we can just preview this preview these documents directly directly from the browser so no need to download and we can close this one so this is documents so besides documents right we go to check more information about HRM so HRM the first one is personal information employee information so here we have all the employee information here that take we take a uh, can for example so here, if you if you if you see 
here is some basic information that what is the name, account, i.e. email address, mobile, password. If they, if they forget password, can help them to reset this one. And uh, employment date or telephone number, the basic information. Of course, right, this one is most important. Whether the user have the system administrator permission or not is from here. And if this employer right, is resigned, we can hand over their work to another person. That's let take take this one for example. I can hand over all the information right to a person that involved in your team. You can hand over the work to other people directly. I hand over one by one because for here are not two items right there outside. You can just hand over one by one to specific persons. So besides this one right, there are some subsidiaries here. You can check the direct report and uh, following their report and here are some personal information. And for this part, right, it's customized. You can always go to, if, you, if this information is not satisfy your requirement, you can always go to customize some more information. Now for overseas, right, there are always a lot of foreign works. They have the business visa or they have employee visa. You can, you can maintain their visa here. When the visa is expired, it gives you a notice, notifications. And our personal contract. So you have a personal contract management from here. You can always add a new contract. And maybe for this one, it's convert to permanent. Enter. And then the different type is like the maybe service. And then what is a key documents, right? The contract is valid from me to full time employee. And then contract number you can put here, contract type, this is my labor contract. And the start date from today, you do not need to have an end date. And uh, you do not have the trial period. And uh, here you can put the contract as an attachment if you have. Maybe just, we just put this one as an example, right? So here is our contract. So then the employee have two contracts. So besides this one, we have more of operation logs. Who change anything? You always can go to audit the information. So besides this one, right? Because this one is our personal information. You can always going to check all the employee information, right? And to change them to to maintain them. After this one, you can have a personal contract. For example, right? Just now, just now, where what we do is. We can maintain the personal contract inside the employee directly, right? So here you can always go to see the personal contract from here. And if you want to customize, right? Here have a lot of fields you can go to customize. Like customer field, if you want to add an HR, HR contract, customer field, or customer field. For example, right, the, the employee information, we need more information because now here is visa we customize. Maybe we want to, in Singapore, right? We want to have the CPF. So we have the we we, we can go into add one more section bar here, uh, state, and we're going to add a text here, uh, CPF number here, and uh, if the PR or not, so it is a, we we can put here is a PR. Put here yes. save so we customize this part we go back to see the personal information right so take the can for example as well so we go to the personal information so for here right it's visa for here you can have your cpf number is pres or no yeah it's yes so this you can always go to add more field as you want and Besides HR, right, we always going to have the attendance. So this can be going to take attendance for all your employees. So you can always going to add attendance setting. Give the role name, like for here, you know, this is Singapore. We can go to range who, who the attendance is going to apply for. And here, what was the standard attendance, flexible attendance, rotation or schedule system. And it's a fixed time punch or flexible time punch. And Monday, Tuesday, maybe if I have six days, you can just put 
six days and what is check-in time what is check-out times like if you can uh, add follow net five minutes not considered as can late but five minutes not considered as leave earnings and here right we can have multiple ways of to take attendance the first one is the gps notation so take a mobile phone and uh, for example we put our singapore office uh, 6 Jin Tengwei, OU Dangdang as our checking office uh, location. So if you're on mobile, right, going to have 300 meters, you can take the attendance. Then besides this one, right, we can always going to have the Wi Fi attendance. Wi Fi only allows the user to going to connect the Wi Fi to take attendance. If we, if we enable this one, right, you must to key the, your Wi Fi router mic address here so the person cannot cheating on the attendance besides this one right we, we're going to set the holidays like for here maybe we set for holiday the with maybe you set uh, this one as a holiday we can always going to set holiday or not holidays like for this one it's not holiday and yeah labor day should be a holiday and then seven maybe a holiday you can all going to set holiday for different attendance group so this is attendance you can and also you can go to customize the attendance type like for here right you can go to have the uh, leave, personal leave annual leave for medical leave you can go to always like, live by hours live by half day calculation working day or skip holidays right so this is some like uh, leave type setting uh, leave details like for different person maybe they have the personal leave how many this is a report help you to track all the uh, leave applications holiday settings and the leave statics report there are a lot of uh, statics report so this is attendance Beside attendance we have the uh, per, uh, payroll actually payroll uh, here not help you to calculate the payrolls you can go to upload your final table of your calculations and then we can send out the pay slip for you so this is the payroll it's not calculation but it's like to share the pay slip or payroll slip for your employees and to beside payroll right we have performance as well so this is some like kpi K, KPI, kpi right like for, for for example right we're going to have a we have cloud template we can go into start a new one we have a new plan we can start a new plan and different indicators and what is the part weight and operations and then you can set your own uh, performance evaluation forms here and then to share to different persons it's either it's by months by quarter by semi-annually and uh, annual report so this is performance so beside performance right so this is some basic information I want to share beside performance what is a uh, uh, last one is I want to share is uh, meeting management so you have a meeting room, right? You can you can always going to have the new meeting room. Maybe you just add a new room. The room is called like the uh, room place. You can add a location or you don't know. Yeah. So here maybe it's like put in maybe it's like for fifty person. That project yes, and then see. So you have a new you have a new meeting room. So you can go to apply a new meeting room right you have a new event and location is a room. You can choose a room from here. Depends on like for when you create event right, it is happening in your own office, you can always go to have a like for here the demo. And then your the meeting room the agenda for this one and it's a conflict with yeah, no problems, right? So we just create a new one. And then for meeting room here, right, is you can see from here directly, you can have the week. For me, this meeting room, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. is already used. So others cannot go to apply for this meeting room. So this is meeting room management. So meeting room is connect and linked with the calendar event. So when we go back to the calendar, you will see from here, right, is come with a calendar by event here so this is about meeting room management you can always do announcement of course 
the announcement is the same since either do on the portal or here here is a space place to help you to maintain all the announcement beside the announcement we're going to check one more thing is about emails the email function is enable you going to send email from the system directly for example right you can write an email to your customer directly the two that like, you can check either is internal or ex external now here is something like that. This is internal contact for internal, linked contact for external. So we, we take this one for example. Email function is, uh, is quite similar, no, no difference. You can always go to add your own emails, right? But for example, right, if you have customers, so customer, we have a demo customer here. New customer for this month demo customer here so demo customer right if you have an email here you can always going to send them emails right so here you have an email so you, whether if you configure email address right you can directly send them the email directly so this is how we're going to use the email functions when they have the income email right you can always check here as well so this is the email functions so besides this one right we have a function called CRM the CRM actually is meant manage your customer start from the potential customer the lead and then come to customer follow up negotiation and then you have a new order send the quotation and then give them discount negotiation and then you just track the payment so this is the CRM if you are interested about CRM functions we have a specific session to discuss about CRM in details you just go to the e-team tutorial to check the C all the CRM tutorials so this is CRM. Besides CRM, right, we have the customized applications because all of these are standard functions. If the standard function is not satisfy your requirement, what you can do is you can go to always going to customize your own applications. For example, supply chain management. Because supply chain management is not our system standard features, you can always go to customize to use a function called forms. The business forms can help you to create new applications with data and the approved flows so you can customize the supply chain project purchase fix or set or reimbursement meeting invoice business out leave management loans you can always customize others as you want because this one is easy to use drag and drop to design your own forms so how to design this kind of customized functions you just uh, going to uh, go to refer our tutorial about how to create customized applications so finally, what we're going to talk about is a daily report. The daily report right, is, is very interesting part. It's like you can write your own daily report, like for today, e-teams, tutorial, tutorials, right? And then maybe just put this one, I just read this. So here, right, not only you just write your own Workflow. What you can do is that the system also record all your in all your system operation logs here. Either you just add a new documents, add a new project, what is create event, or so if I go to check your workflow, right, I can see all your operations inside the system. So this is about workflow. So besides this one, right, you do if you need customer, of course you need to update the. For example, I'm going to update a customer contact record. So I open this one. Good communication with customer IT manager. I just uh, make a phone call. Yeah, so when we go back to check the work daily report, right? So here you see customers, good communication with customer IT managers. If you want to check your operations inside the system, you do not need to go to one by one. We can see from here, daily report, right? You can check all your operations inside the system. So this is very useful. When your supervisor wants to check your daily work or daily task, you can directly come to here to check all your informations, all your operations and all your updates inside the daily report. Besides the report, right, we have also have a report 
we can you use the the, the daily report daily report. report is monthly or weekly report you can go to up, update your work, work achieved this week works uh, work summary plan contact last week so this is report and we also we have target so this is some basic introduction about Weaver eTips hope you have more understanding about this product and if you are interested in specific uh, topic like for example CRM or the build the customized applications just to check our tutorial about CRM and uh, build customized, customized applications thank you